So I will be converting the master blend powder concentrate you see here into 50 gallons of liquid concentrate that you can store in your cupboard for later use. So the three powders that we will be using to make the master blend liquid concentrate will be calcium nitrate powder, master blend powder, and Epsom salt. The 50 gallon recipe is what I have been using for the past 10 months without issue and the one I will be showing on how to make in this video. You can pause the video here if you want to see the math and the breakdown in case you want to make a different ratio of the liquid concentrate. I'm going to use my Ninja Blender to mix up and blend the powders as it works great. If you do not have a blender, you can look back at the older videos I made as you can mix it up just using warm water and shaking it up in the bottle by hand. I will be making up 500 milliliters of liquid concentrate in each bottle. As you can see, the Ninja Bullet Blender works out perfect for this. So I will start off by filling up my blender cup with about 400 milliliters of reverse osmosis water from my sink. And the reason for this is to leave room for the master blend powder and Epsom salt that I will add. So here you are going to need a scale as I will need to measure out 120 grams of master blend powder. I bought this scale off Amazon for around $15 so it was affordable and a must have to get an accurate mix ratio. As you can see, I got a measure of 120 grams of master blend powder in the cup. Now I will go ahead and measure out 60 grams of Epsom salt on the scale. And as you can see, I got 60.3 grams of Epsom salt weighed out in the cup and ready to go. I've already added the 120 grams of master blend powder into the 400 milliliters of the reverse osmosis water. And now I will go ahead and pour in the 60 grams of Epsom salt that I just weighed out. Now it is time to screw on the lid and mix up the powder in the blender. Here, I will just give it a quick shake to start to mix things up. So I will start the blender and begin to mix this up for about 30 seconds. And at this point, I will stop the blender and add the additional reverse osmosis water to measure out 500 mls. Then I will put it back on the blender and mix it for about 30 more seconds. And once it is done mixing on the blender, I will remove the cup as I am all done mixing and ready to pour it into the 500 milliliters for storage. And there we go as I got solution AE all done, which is 120 grams of master blend mixed with 60 grams of Epsom salt in 500 milliliters of reverse osmosis water. Next, I will thoroughly clean out the blender cup in preparation to mix the calcium nitrate powder. Be sure to not leave any of the master blend residue in the cup or on the lid, as this would be a problem. Once everything is looking clean, I will start adding about 400 milliliters of the reverse osmosis water from my sink. You can also use distilled water instead of the reverse osmosis water. The reason we cannot use just plain tap water is that your tap water contains all sorts of elements in the water that could cause some reaction in the solution as it sits over time. Also, be sure to use a new cup when measuring out the calcium nitrate powder. Do not use the same cup that you used to measure out the master blend powder. We do not want any chance of cross-contamination from the master blend powder residue. Now I will go ahead and measure out a total of 120 grams of calcium nitrate. And as you can see, we got a perfect total of 120 grams measured out. Now I will just pour the 120 grams of calcium nitrate into the 400 milliliters of reverse osmosis water and give it a quick shake to mix it up. I will put it on the Ninja Blender as I did before and mix it up for about 30 seconds. Then I will remove the blender container and top off the liquid concentrate 500 milliliters using the reverse osmosis water from my sink. Then I will put it back on the blender and mix it for an additional 30 seconds. Once the calcium nitrate is done mixing, I will remove it from the Ninja Blender and pour the liquid concentrate into the 500 milliliters plastic bottle for storage or use, as I am all done. And that is how easy and fast it is to make up 50 gallons of master blend concentrate. As you can see how well the Ninja Blender has mixed up the powder, as there is zero residue visible on the bottom of the container. At this point you can label them, but you can clearly see that the Master Blend and Epsom Salt Concentrate has a green tint, while the Calcium Nitrate has a white tint. Here I will just do a quick test by mixing up a gallon container. I will go ahead and then add 10 milliliters of the Master Blend and Epsom Salt Concentrate to a one gallon jug of tap water. 
and then I will clean out the syringe and go ahead and measure out 10 milliliters of the calcium nitrate concentrate and add that to the one gallon jug of tap water. Then I will just finish filling up the milk jug with plain tap water and proceed to take an EC reading of the nutrient mix. Which you can see that the nutrient mix is right on target with an EC reading of 2.3. So I am going to go out back and feed my 3-in-1 grafted fruit tree. This tree is interesting as three different types of fruit trees have been grafted into it. But since I have a new love with master blend being so easy to mix up with the concentrate, I'm going to also start using it on my fruit trees this year and see what type of results I get. So stay tuned as I will be adding this one gallon mix once per week. I am curious to see how well this master blend concentrate will work with regular plants out in the garden soil. So stay tuned and keep on growing.